Okay, so last week I said I had some really big news. This week might trump it, guys. And again, no, I'm not pregnant. And again, no one's getting free pizza. But, oh man, gosh, what is bigger, this news or switching formats of the Rachel Cruz show? I, oh man, this, this might be bigger. This might be bigger because for the last dang year and four months of my life, <laughs> I have been working on something and finally the world gets to see it. Here I am, just sitting on the ground in my new book. That's right. Know yourself, know your money. Oh, I mean, to even just like hold it, like holding Amelia, my first child was, it was amazing. I cried. Caroline was just like joy. Charles was just like, oh my gosh. This just has a different, a different take in my heart. It really does. I mean, it's like fourth in line to those three, obviously. But this, it really, it freaking feels like I've been pregnant and I've birthed another kid. <laughs> but this book, I'm just, I really, I am so excited. Okay, a few years ago, I had this like thought, this moment where I was like, hmm, if I can start understanding not just how to handle money and helping people handle money, just like, here's how you do it, but why do we handle money the way we do? Why? Why do we spend the money we spend? Why do we save it? Why do we go into debt for it? What, 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 what is it? What is the why behind so many of our money habits? And on this show, we talk all the time about the how. We talk about the budgeting and the investing and the getting out of debt and the saving and the insurance and the investments and the wills and like all the things of the how to win with money. But when you can start to understand and go under that foundation of why do you handle money the way you do, it like, it's amazing. It really is. And like anything in life, when you can start to like have self like self-awareness in your life when it comes to your marriage and your parenting, how you are at work, how you are with friends, how you are with family, like when you have self-awareness about who you are and why you are the way you are, things just increase in your life. Like you do have better relationships. I mean, just things in your life start to gain traction when you have that self-awareness and you actually do something with that knowledge. And that is what this book is all about. It is all about the self-awareness of understanding why you handle money the way you do. So in the book, we dive into eight sections that I'm so excited about. The first section is all about your money classroom. How did you grow up with money? Because it really affects it. And to say that there's a little quadrant chart in there, that is pretty exciting. <laughs> That's an understatement. Uh, I mean, honestly, there are like for these four quadrants, I figured out of like, really in these four buckets is the environment of how people grew up. So not just the communication side, but also the emotional side of money. So like we dive into all of this and for you to be able to pinpoint and say, oh my gosh, that's how I grew up. Like maybe that's why I am the way I am or partly why it's shaped your perspective with money. It's really important. Our upbringings have a huge impact on who we are today. Then we dive in to your money tendencies, which we all have. There's lots of tendencies out there. We talk about spender and saver and nerd and free spirit on the show a lot, but we go into many, many more when it comes to money and your natural tendencies and how you're bent, how you're wired. And then that can kind of start to open your eyes maybe to other people in your life. We're like, oh wow, that's why they buy that thing or that's why they would rather do this with money than that. So diving into your tendencies. Also diving into your money fears. We talk a lot about this on the show because fear is a main driver of why we do things in life. It can be that motivation. And so really digging into the top financial fears that people have and hopefully you being able to pinpoint, ah, that's one of my top fears. Maybe this is why I do the things I do with money. We're also gonna talk about your money mistakes and giving grace because we all need that. If you are breathing, that means that you have made a mistake with money. So we all have. And so really, really understanding, okay, man, do I give myself enough grace? Do I give others grace when it comes to money mistakes? So diving into that. And then the book moves on to not just why do you handle money the way you do, but what to do about it. That's right, the subtitle here, Know Yourself, Know Your Money, my new book. Mm -hmm. Subtitles, discover why you handle money the way you do and what to do about it. So. The last part of the book is what to do about it. So what to do about your spending, 
you're saving, you're giving, and changing your behavior and really saying, okay, this is it. And hopefully this book, my prayer is that this book answers so many questions for you of like, hey, this is why I handle money the way I do. And it's really gonna open your eyes to be like, wow, if I can understand the why, I can change my behavior so much faster and win with money even faster. So not only do you get to see the book today for the first time, but you actually get to pre-order it today. So it is on pre-sale, you guys. You can go ahead and order this book today. Click the link below. And the great thing about pre-ordering you get so many free things, $50 worth of free stuff. So you're gonna get the free audiobook, the free ebook, and a 30 minute lesson taught by me on some stuff that we're gonna dig in deeper here. So all of that is gonna be for free if you pre-order right now. And the book actually launches in January, so you have a few months to do it, but just do it now because I'm telling you, I'm so pumped about it because I really think it's that great. Like it's so good that like I finished the manuscripts and a few people are like, hmm, it's good, but like this section, you know, could and I went back in and then I was like, okay. I was like, I told everyone that was reading it before, I was like, I like like criticize it. Like I want I want this to be the best book possible and tell people to criticize something, they will. <laughs> so I got a couple of notes more, but I kept working on it and working on it because I really, really wanted it to be as good as possible. And that's why I feel so proud with it because it is, it really is an incredible book, again, to help you understand not just why you handle money the way you do, but what to do about it. So click the link below to pre-order, know yourself, know your money.